Okay, so I want you guys to listen closely and pay attention. This is a thought experiment which I came up with all of a sudden. Say there exists some machine which I'm gonna represent as this box over here, okay? Let's say that this machine requires one second to calculate five seconds ahead into the future. So let's see how that looks. Let's just start with a, a linear time scale. We have our start, zero seconds, and then there is one second over here. Now, after one second has passed, this, this machine here, it will have the knowledge of the next five seconds into the future. So, two, three, four, five, six. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. So, everything within this interval of time, this machine should be able to know because, well, it knows the future. It knows the state of the universe at, say, 3.5 seconds or 4.5 seconds and so on and so forth. Let me just use a different color. Perhaps it will make things easier. So red here, I'm just going to say information that bot1 has. By bot1, I'm referring to this bot in particular because one second has passed and it has calculated the state of the universe for the next five seconds. Now here's where things get interesting. Here's the 6 second mark. What do you think is going on at the 6 second mark? Well, the computer has to have been working for 6 seconds, right? So, at the 6 second mark, we have bot 6. Now, bot 6 has been calculating for 6 seconds. Which means it could see 6 times 5, 30 seconds into the future. So we have dot 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 all the way up till 30 and I'm going to color this blue and blue is going to be the information that bot 6 has. Now let me just clarify by information I mean like the exact precise state of the universe and by that I mean it has to have the knowledge of say, the thoughts and emotions of every single human being which exist at that point of time. And it has to also know, like, say, a USB is lying somewhere. It has to know the contents which are inside that USB drive because, well, it has to predict what's going to happen if that USB is going to get plugged in in, say, the third second mark and something's going to pop up on the computer. Well, how do you know what's going to pop up on the computer if you don't have knowledge of what's inside the USB? So every single bit of detail this bot has the knowledge of, and that includes whatever knowledge bot 6 has. So red is included here, and that includes the information which bot 6 has. Bot 1 knows about bot 6 and bot 6 in turn knows everything about the state of the universe within this interval on the blue line so therefore bot 1 knows the state of the universe from the interval 1 to 30 but it doesn't stop there what is at the 30 second mark it's bot 30 right and and what does bot 30 know Bot 30 knows a couple hundred seconds into the future because it has been calculating for 30 seconds. But Bot 6 knows about Bot 30, and Bot 30 knows a couple hundred seconds into the future. So Bot 1 knows about Bot 6, and Bot 6 knows about Bot 30, so Bot 1 knows a couple hundred seconds into the future, despite having calculated for only one second, and despite our initial assumption that it requires one second to calculate five seconds into the future. So basically, if we just continue this process, this would mean that bot1 requires one second of computation to calculate infinitely ahead across time. Now this is interesting to think about because this machine appears to be paradoxical in nature. Does that mean that such a machine could not exist in the first place? Because if it is allowed to exist, then it's probably just gonna explode on itself because of like the amount of memory it has to contain. No combination of hard disk can possibly 
store the entire time scale of the universe from start to finish all the way till the end but i don't know really this is just something i randomly came up with although maybe someone else has thought about it and wrote a book about it or published it somewhere but i'm unaware of it and i don't know what to begin typing into google in order to find this specific example but so here's my little thought experiment i'd be very interested to hear about what other people has to say about it so if you have some thoughts kindly leave them down into the comment section down below that's it for the video thanks for watching